get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here in today's game playing some Championship Z in the mid lane. So let's get ourselves here the longsword, a few health potions, and the warning trinket and head on to the lane. Look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, you are truly on that Zed mid. Also got Riven Spotter playing as our Nautilus top from Filipino playing as our Vayne 80 carry. Lucas KO3 on that Lee Sin jungle. And last but not least is Fina playing as our Soraka support. It's looking like we're against a bit of an odd composition here, but it's still, you know, a League of Legends composition nevertheless. Nidalee support, actually, which I been really surprised by because Nidalee is like, you know, a jungler. She's definitely not a support, but some people used to play it back in the day, and I guess it's being brought back here a little bit. Uh, some Shaco's in the jungle, I almost said Shaco's support. <laughs> uh, Renekton top lane, Sivir AD carry, and then a Talon mid, but yeah, like Deathfire touch on Renekton, really strange choice. Ghost and Stormrear surge on Talon, really strange choice there again. And looks like some shenanigans going on top lane here, but like, I'm just kind of doing my own thing here. I'm not really heading over towards uh, top side to going to those shenanigans, so yeah, I think I'll just stick to what I'm doing here in the mid lane. But before we get too far into the game here, guys, a few things I want to get out of the way. First of all, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to drop that rating. It really helps out a lot. Let's try and get to see if we can get a shuriken here onto Talon. We can, and he's going to get his W on us and actually out-trade us. So with his W, with the changes they made, I haven't actually done a Talon video yet and haven't really played him either since they made those changes to him, but I am aware that uh, it actually breaks a little bit fat, uh, further past you after it hits you or something like that, and then it hooks back, so what you want to do actually is sidestep it if you can. But sometimes it's difficult, because it is quite wide. And Nidalee is mid. Uh, okay then. <laughs> so, that's happening. Let's just uh, get ourselves some minions. And yes, did get all of them. Nice, nice. Talon whip, with Corruption Potion, really? So yeah, there we go. Ooh, thought I sidestepped it, but not quite. Not quite. That's okay. The next thing I want to mention here, though, guys, is in the past videos, I have mentioned that uh, since early January this year, I have been going to the gym quite consistently, and a lot of people have been wanting to see my progress, so I decided to put together an Instagram page, which will be designed towards showing my progress, but also showing some workouts and some different things like that. And so if you guys are at all interested in that, I highly recommend you check it out. The Instagram page will be linked down below. For those of you who are thinking, I don't really care, I just watch your League of Legends videos, maybe just give it a glance. You might be pleasantly surprised. I would really appreciate it if you guys would give it a look. And I'm finding myself having a lot of difficulties escaping into these Talon W. I think it's because I'm short range though and he's able to reach me. If I was playing like a mage or something like that, I think it'd be a lot different, but that's just my two cents. But we will hit both the shurikens there and get ourselves that Thunderlord's proc. 12 CS to his 9. Not too bad. And actually gonna miss the siege. What? What? Doesn't seem right. He's gonna outtrade us here a little bit, but I'm not concerned. And gonna get a minion there. And I think I'm gonna pop all my potions here actually. Yeah, I'm getting outtraded quite significantly, but I am out CSing, but it might end up badly for us if we don't keep ourselves healthier. We're getting out-traded left and right. But we managed to hit him with the, the uh, Shadow Slash there, at least. But uh, I guess while we're talking about Talon's rework a little bit as well here, guys, I will mention that, of course, they did Z they did rework Zed a little bit. And this guy is picking a really bad fight. Why are you fighting me in my minion wave? He's going to die Ignite. Why did he think that was a good idea? All right, well, <laughs> to summarize that mistake, he fought me with a level disadvantage in the middle of my minion wave. Why? Why? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> that was a really bad choice by him. He's going to get punished for it. He's going to go down for the count. See you later, Talon. Not sure why he did that, but this is not being complained by any means. That is awesome for us. And actually, Lee Sin finding the Shaco here in the jungle. I'm going to walk on over and see if I can help. I have no shadow, so I can't really do much. And the Sonic Wave is going to miss, unfortunately, so nothing's going to come of that play. But at least Shaco's going to be pushed back. So that's something in itself. Let's go back here and get ourselves some items. So, yeah, I mentioned the Instagram page. I really recommend you guys check it out. I would really appreciate it, because I know a lot of you are thinking, yeah, I watch your Lee Legends videos. I don't really give a fuck about what your body looks like. But still, I really would just, I, I would love it if you guys just checked it out. I think a lot of you would be pleasantly surprised, because I've been putting a lot of time into it. I mean, going to the gym like four, five, six times a week, most weeks for 10 months, it creates a lot. So, I'm thinking of my first item here. I want to work towards the Caulfield's Warhammer. I think about that extra CDR, and I think I'll also get an extra potion. I realize a lot of you are thinking, hey, you've had gold to get a, to get a, what is this called? Control Ward, why didn't you get one? Potion, man. I think in this lane, I want the potion. I want to be able to fight this guy and take some damage and then heal. And I think with the way of pushing the way it is, I think I should be okay to not have the Control Ward just yet. And I'll go ahead and ping the missing as Talon is missing. And should be able to get most of these. Unfortunately, though, my team is putting themselves in a fight where if Talon joins, I can't help. I'm going to continue to ping the missing, though, and make sure they are realizing that, hey, uh, my lane's missing, and I cannot help you guys. I am dealing with this stuff right now. And it looks like he's actually back mid. Do some nice damage to him there with the Shadow Slash and Living Shadow combo. Okay. And it looks like he's backing off again, but coming back again. 
Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, the next thing I want to mention here, by the way, guys, is we are doing another giveaway in today's video. So we're doing another $10 RP card giveaway. I'll go ahead and show you guys the card here. So with this one, uh, it's, of course, for North America once again. And I'll go ahead and talk about other servers and what I'm going to do for you guys in a moment. But first, I want to get this giveaway and how to be a part of it uh, first. So first things first, of course, make sure to like the video. That really helps out the video. And, of course, it's part of what you got to do to make sure you're part of it. Uh, the next thing, guys, is make sure you're subscribed. Of course, this should go without saying, but for some of you, this may be a be news. And oops, I uh, made a mistake there, but I'll explain what that mistake is actually a little bit later because I'm still on, trying to stay on topic here with the giveaway. And the last thing you got to do is comment down below what you think my favorite movie of all time is. The last time I asked you guys to comment down below what you thought my favorite TV show was of all time, and most of you guessed it right. It was, in fact, Breaking Bad. So good on you guys who did guess it. The giveaway has been completed, though, for that Lux video. I have given away the RP for that one. But yeah, the mistake I made there is there was actually a bug for, oops, traps hitting me. There was a bug for a long time with Zed where if you used one of your other abilities and then your shadow, uh, you could actually cast one of them and have the shadow immediately without even being seen actually do the damage from it. So you can go EW and it would do the damage. Whereas now you have to actually do it in the right order where you place a shadow first and otherwise it's going to bug out. Wow, that was a lot of damage. I'm actually impressed. Nice. So yeah, 41 minutes, he has 32. We did miss some here and there, but we're still... We'll st we're still doing okay, and we have our Ignite soon, we have our Ultimate as well, because we are level 6. I do think we will have the opportunity to kill Talon at some point soon, so we'll see what we can do. Continue to farm here, and I know Lee Sin's nearby, so I'm pretty confident to harass this Talon if we can. We're hitting one Shuriken there, but missing the other one, and I missed this Shadow Slash there. Normally the combo in lane when you're playing as Zed in lane is you want to hit the Shadow Slash to slow them, and once you hit that Shadow Slash with your Living Shadow, you can pretty easily hit the Shuriken, as long as you're not bad. But if you're like me and you're bad, you're going to miss the Shadow Slash itself. And that's even more embarrassing than missing the Shurikens. Yeah, at least I'm going to get that last here. And I know Nidalee's on the side. And I kind of just want to kill her. But I don't know if Lee Sin's ready for a 2v2. It looks like he's more interested in getting that red buff. Which is fine by me. And Shuriken to the back on Talon there. Nice, nice. Get a few minions. And I think actually Talon's walking towards Lee Sin. Which makes me think they know Lee Sin's there. But he's going top. I'm just going to get a corner ward here. That's a good spot to ward, by the way, if you're just trying to get a little bit of vision of that area. It gives you an idea of, like, if Shaco's trying to deceive over the wall, for example. Because if you're playing as a Shaco, I think it's a really good way to go. And it looks like, actually, their team is collapsing. At least I'm on the way. Uh, he is quite low, but they are trying to kill him. Yeah, they're definitely going to kill him here. But if Talon just walks into me, he's not walking into me. Where is he going? But Shaco's over here, and he's kind of low. I wonder if they know I'm here. Oh, well, now they know. <laughs> okay, I'll just walk away. It's fine. I scared Shaco. I made him shit his pants probably a little bit. Let me look at him. He's running off into his jungle. And I was hoping to see if that would actually hit him. Not quite, but that's okay. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry about this, guys, but I have like this little notepad on the side of my second monitor here letting me know of all the things I want to break up today's video because there was a list. Because if I miss any of these items, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel silly about it later on and I have to put it in the comments instead. So let's just see here. I mentioned the Instagram page, I mentioned the giveaway and what you gotta do to be a part of that. Like the video, subscribe, comment what you think my favorite movie is of all time. I'll go ahead and say this much about that as well. Uh, this is a slight hint, but maybe not. Uh, I'm thinking of a very specific movie, but considering the movie, uh, you know, is rather specific and kind of old, a lot of people may just kind of call it by a broader subject, and so if that happens, I will probably still consider them, as long as they do the other things for the giveaway, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe that gives you some sort of a hint, maybe not for some of you. What I will say is this for sure though, older fans will know. Older fans will know exactly what movie this is, and if they don't, or if you don't, then uh, maybe go back to my past videos and check out uh, some of my Q&As that I've done, because in those videos I do explain what my favorite movie is of all time. But yeah, in this lane though, Talon's getting really low on mana here, I do want to try and take him out. The thing is, she also sees Shaco taking his red, whoops, almost missed that. I'm maxing the E here, and I'll go ahead and mention actually... A little bit about that later on here. I think we can kill him. Alright, let's just back up a little bit. I should have to flash. Oh, I'm still dead anyways, aren't I? That's unfortunate. I really th didn't think Shaco would be there right away, but Lee Sins might get the kill here on Shaco, actually. Get him a kick. Nice. And the nice uh, resonating strike. Or not resonating strike. He used the Tempest at the perfect time there, because what he did there is he used his Q kicked Shaco, so Shaco CC'd, so he couldn't actually do anything, and finished his Resonating Strike, the second part of Lee Sin's Q, and as soon as Shaco was able to actually go Deceive, he used his Tempest to get Vision. He played that perfectly, and it was really, it was great to see, to say the very least. So we'll get ourselves the Call, or not the Call Fields, what is this thing called? Serrated Dirk, and we'll pick up ourselves also a Control Works, we haven't got one of those yet, and a Refill Potion. 
We are going for the Ghost Blade Rush this game, as with Zed. It does give you that move speed, so it allows you to force the fights you want to be in, and it gets you out of the fights you don't want to be in, which is really good. Base stats are really great. Lethality, which is basically armor pen, but it scales now a little bit, is really good for Zed, of course. And movement speed out of combat, pretty much the same thing as the active, but uh, to a different extent, because it's just, when you're out of combat, you get back to lane fast, you also can roam more effectively. A bunch of good stuff, I think. Now let's go ahead and see if we can hit him with some shurikens. We are going to manage to. Oops. Messing a, messing a few things up there, but not, nothing to be concerned with. Okay. But yeah, I want to mention the skill distribution, actually. So, way, way back when Zed first came out, everyone was convinced Q then Emax was the way to go. And for a long period of time, that was what people continued to believe was the way to go. But it came to a point where people actually did some math and realized that actually maxing W second was the way to go. And it's because it decreased the energy cost of the spell. It also made it, and I feel like Shaco's here or something, but this guy is getting really low. Where is he going? He went over here. Ooh, Lee Sin with the max range Sonic Wave. What a beast. Dude, you're a beast. I'm really impressed with this Lee Sin. He's playing really well. All right, getting ourselves another point in the queue here. Uh, let's head over to the bot lane. He looks like he's going for a play. He's got his kick too, so maybe he can get a kick and we can work with that. It doesn't look like anything's going to happen just yet though. Yeah, actually, they're, they're playing pretty defensively. What I'm going to do instead, just because I'm in this area and I may as well while I'm here, is get a nice deep ward into their jungle. Give us some vision, because although it may not give us any vision of Shaco himself, it'll give us vision where he's not. We know he's not bot side because he's not on that ward. And also, uh, I don't know what these things are called, but it gives us HP and I love it. <laughs> people can play with these plants all the time. I actually really like them. A lot of people really don't like them because they add like apparently some random factor to the game. But the randomness is kind of makes it fun when you have like these random explosion plants and random vision plants. And I think the vision is actually true sight, so like you can pick off like wards being placed with that. That's really strong. Get some of these minions here. So yeah, 90 minions almost at like 12 and a bit minutes, not too bad. And like our score is not amazing by any means, but we're having a pretty solid game so far, I'd say. And it looks like Nautilus is getting ganked here by the Shaco and Renekton, and he's getting pretty low. And the Shaco clones gonna tank, or is that Shaco himself? That is actually Shaco himself. Okay, that's really awkward. Let's go in here and see if we can take out the Renekton. I think we can. And he will go down. Nice. Okay, and with that, did we get an extra AD from that? We did. I think. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a new thing with Zed's ultimate, by the way, that I kind of want to mention. But before I do that, I'm going to try and finish off the topic of Zed's W versus E max. So... With the W, if you maxed it back in the day before the rework, it would decrease the energy cost, it would increase your total AD by a percentage, which was really helpful, and I think it also did a third effect, but I can't remember the exact details of that, but I think the total AD being increased by that percentage, plus the cooldown going down, and the energy cost going down, those three factors, that's I think what it was, was really strong, it made you super mobile, give you a lot of damage, and the only thing you're really missing out on was a slight bit of damage you're missing out on your E. That's it, because the E's cooldown remained the same, and its damage only went by 30 per rank, which is, you know, it's, it's significant, but if you're getting more damage from your shurikens because of the W max, and you're also getting more damage from your ultimate because of the shuriken max, or sorry, the W max, and you're also getting more auto attack damage from the W max, it kind of makes up for it in a way, right? So that's why I think the W max was so good for so long, but with them moving that percentage AD from his W now into his ultimate in a different way, uh, that's really where now maxing the E comes into handy. But essentially how the ultimate uh, AD works now is there'll be always be one person on the opponent team who has the highest AD, and if you kill them, you will get a percentage of their AD. And if you don't kill them, you kill somebody else, like you can increase based upon um, how much AD the last person you killed, I think, was. Actually, that's probably not the best way to explain it. Basically, the best way to explain it would probably be that... Uh, okay, for the time being, I think... Let's see. Renekton. So... I have reaped a portion of his AD, but he doesn't have the highest AD in the game. It's probably going to be like Sivir or Talon at some point. So whoever has the highest AD, I can make my, my that 12 stronger, but it can't go down, right? So, killing targets with a lot of AD is pretty much what you want to do. And if you continue to do that, you'll just get stronger and stronger as Zed. It, it's basically trying to encourage you to kill AD carries, essentially. I don't know. It's, it's really quite simple, to be honest, but I'm having difficulties explaining it for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Just, just kill champions with a lot of AD, and you'll probably do better as Zed. And now you have a level 11 as well. That's really great. I'll go ahead and push this in and get ourselves this next Siege minion. Anyway, Talon's low enough that if he doesn't have ult, I think I can dive him. And even if he has ult, like Lee Sin's nearby, and actually Shaco's in the area. Hello. He's probably over here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. I bet you went back. Okay, well, I'm going to try and kill Niddle here, actually. 
gonna go this way, really. Okay. Got him. Okay. Just that last auto attack from our passive really helps out there. And Talon's on the run, but I know he doesn't have his ultimate. I know he used that. So if I can pursue the Sivir and Talon, we'll be in a really good spot. He is popping his ghost here, so he's on the pursuit of Soraka. Probably gonna find the kill there, but if I can come in here, we have Noddles TPing in, and we have the flank coming in. Which way is he gonna go? Alright, there's the kill there. Getting us the double buffs. I really wanted to get the double buffs there more than I wanted to kill Sivir. And I think with Noddles' help, Vayne and myself should be able to take out the Sivir. There we go. Vayne's gonna pick that one up. Nice. Now let's go ahead and push the wave in here. And see if we can maybe get some damage on this turret. Because my mid lane's fine. I mean, Talon's down. There's nothing going on mid. The wave's kind of building up, but I'd rather just go for this tower. It seems like the way to go. Okay. But yeah, essentially, if you use your ultimate and you kill a target, you get an extra bit of AD. And if you kill somebody who has more AD than the, somebody else you killed earlier on, uh, then you get more AD. If you kill somebody who has less, then nothing changes. You still keep the extra boost of AD that you got. So since I killed Nidalee with my ultimate, nothing changed because she doesn't really have much AD. The other champions I killed didn't really have much AD, so not to mention I didn't use my ult, so nothing changed. Still Renekton that I reaped from. Yep, so that's kind of how that works. So we got ourselves the Human's Ghost Blade. We could also work towards our next item, which will be the Dust Blade. Dust Blade is super, super good on Zed. I really like it. And in this game, because they don't really have that much magic damage, normally I'd go with Mercury Treads, but instead I'm going to go with Swiftness. I would go with cooldown boots, but with the build I have in mind, it would be overcapping my CDR, and that would be a waste. And I actually have gold for my control ward, so I may as well grab that as well and book it back mid lane. I think I got she got stuck on the nexus, but no one had to see that. But uh, let's go ahead and put this on three where I like it. It's nice and comfortable. But yeah, swiftness boots are great for us though. They give us a lot of extra move speed, and the slows they have from Talon. Uh, I guess Nilly doesn't have any slows, but Shaco as well has that shiv. Those will be a little bit weaker, and that'll be nice for us. So we'll get some minions here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention as well, actually, is them changing Yuma's Ghost Blade to being only move speed. It, it hurts Zed in a way, because like the move speed's still really good on Zed, but not having the attack speed. I mean, Zed it auto attacks quite a lot. Like you're missing out on a decent amount there from not having that. It looks like I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy, and the Shaco Box coming in, but it's fine. We can take that out pretty easily. And in fact, I might have been actually able to kill Shaco there if I had. The huge cojones, because he used his Deceive in, placed his box, all he had left was Shiv, and I think he poked me with that. So I probably could have just all in him there and possibly taken him out. Oops. And I'm going to miss the Siege as well. That's incredibly awkward. So okay, that Lee Sin's on the backside. Maybe looking for a play. Can we get it? Ooh, nice Sonic Wave. Alright, I'll just finish him off. I missed my Shuriken, and the only way to finish him off was to ult him there. And you know what? I'm really okay with that, because Talon had some of the most AD in the game. So by doing that, I actually got myself an extra bit of AD. So now instead of having 12, I have 21. So that's really nice for us. And it looks like Nautilus is going in here. Can we make anything of that? Can I snipe him? Not quite, but we are going to get some nice damage down. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. And Shaco, where are you going? That's the, that's the clone. <laughs> he had blue buffs, so I forgot there's a clone. See, with Shaco back in the day, man, if he was jungling... And he had a clone out, only he would have the buffs. The fake one wouldn't have the buffs show. It's same thing with Wukong with his decoy, right? So that's something I guess they fixed. And wow, Lee Sin's going ham, and he is actually unfortunately going to go down. But we do have the mid turret here actually for ourselves, so that's really great. Nice job, team. And I wonder what's next for us? What is next in the store? Shaco's trying to go back. Let's go do some damage to Renekton. He's giving us the opportunity to. I'm going to pop my E here again. And Shaco just deceived him to ignite and then walk away on a not-so-low-health target. Oh, this is looking kind of brutal. Oh, but Reactin's going in here. Okay, I don't have any energy. That's the problem with this fight. I, I really want to be like, yeah, let's go in and kill them all, but I have nothing to use to hurt people with. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to shadow out. I have my Ghost Blade still, so I can still use that if need be. I'm just going to use my sh Shadow Slash there to hurt Talon and slow him down. Yeah, I think going back here is my best interest. I have enough gold for my Dust Blade. Which, by the way, the reason you still build on Zed is although it doesn't work as a Zed alt, like 2.0 anymore as a passive, uh, instead it gives you a lot of really good stats. And because we built a lot of lethality with our runes and items, the passive on it now is really, really strong. So I do recommend you still build it. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to run top here, actually. Nautilus has TP, though, so he'll probably... Hmm, actually... Yeah, it, it, my decision here really depends upon where Nautilus goes. I think he's going to TP top, but Vayne's running up there, so maybe he'll TP elsewhere. We'll figure that out. But yeah, Dust Blade. So this item, uh, Lethality, Move Speed out of Combat, so you kind of overlap that passive from the Ghost Blade, which is 
kind of a waste in a way, but it's a, it's a really small waste. I wouldn't be concerned with it if I were you. And uh, the other passive on it is if you are unseen, so basically Kazakh's passive, your next hit does a bunch of true damage based upon your lethality. Because I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, and so that's really strong. You also get one of the like old sweeper effects where if a ward sees you, which you're seeing in action as we speak, you can clear the ward that sees you. So that's really strong. And it looks like they're going to finish the dragon off here. Actually, Nautilus stealing it. What? That's crazy. And it looks like they're right on the run here. I'm going to pop my ghost plane and look for the flank. Because it looks like Shaco's going to go down. But where's Sivir? Where are you at, Sivir? Come on. Got him. And she's going to die on my death mark. And we get the kill on Talon. Oh, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. All right, there we go. Let's go back to the mid lane here, actually, and push the mid lane up. Get a ward down in their jungle as we rotate, though. I'm sorry, I'm just so satisfied with that. That was that was just so clean. It's not every day I make clean Zed plays, and when I do, it puts a smile on my face. Let's go ahead here and clear up these minions, though. Push up the minion wave. Vayne's already pushing top lane. Send that up. Nautilus has got bot lane. Nidalee's looking for something, but we're going to walk on over and put her down. And yes, that was a joke, referencing the fact she's a cat. But their team's all here, so maybe... Ooh, missing the shurikens. I thought Shaco was actually going to go for it there. Not so much, though. I want to use the plant here to go into the fight, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take out Renekton, though. I want to help you, friend, but I don't really have much to use to help you. All right, and I'm going to flash at you here. I don't want to get hit by those, and Shaco goes for this. He's going to have a bad time. Or am I going to have a bad time? I'm going to have a bad time. Wow, I really thought I had him. That is unfortunate. Man, I suck. You know, it's fine. Leeson's got this. I trust that Leeson's got this. Yeah, see, that Tempest, man. It's really, really strong against Shaco. Leeson is so good on this patch because of all the stealth champions that have gotten buffed. He's able to see them with that Tempest. It makes such a difference. So for our next item here, guys, I am thinking Black Cleaver is the way to go. Extra bit of CDR to cap us out because I think with our build we have in mind. Normally I get a Maw and that would be our last 10%. Maybe Death's Dance would be a better 10% though instead of Maw as they don't have much magic damage this game. They only really have Nidalee. So we'll see. Uh, what other... I could just not have Swiftness and I could just have Cooldown Boots as well. That probably would have been the way to go, actually. Uh, but damage is done now. So maybe something else instead would be a good 10%. Yeah, there's really not much. So maybe I'll get Death Stance later. Maybe I'll just have 30% CDR this game and just suck it up with that. That's also an option. So for the time being, I'll get the Phage. I'll get myself the Longsword. Looks like Talon found at least in the jungle here. But I don't think we have nothing to worry about as Vayne is there to rescue. But, huh. Talon parkoured the wall and used his ult. Seemed kind of overkill. That's okay, though. Let's go back mid lane here and push this wave back up. You can see the Sivir's back in, so we know she's not a threat. Shaco's bottom, so he's also not a threat. And Talon's pretty low, so there's three threats we can know are just not going to be a problem. And the rest of them won't hurt us, so we can push right on up with confidence. It's always important when you're playing League, even if it seems like a waste of energy, put some thought into who could be a threat, in theory. And we're just... <laughs> Put the Nidalee down, for real, this time. Nautilus whacks over the head, sets her up, puts her on the table, and we just go and we just slice her up good. That's how we do it. <laughs> okay, and that's definitely the clone. What's up, real Shaco? I missed you. Okay, well, let's just get rid of you. Wow, we can one-hit them. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, is he gonna get it? He doesn't have the Tempest. He needed to use Tempest there. He was too busy trying to ward hop. He forgot the fact that Shaco's goal was invisible. And it looks like a fight's going on top lane here. Can we save Soraka? Uh, I think Soraka's probably going to go down here, but we might be able to get the kill. I'll do the Sivir. And I'll go ahead and use my death mark there. I'm not going to use this right, am I? Damn it. Okay, so she actually spell shielded my ultimate. I thought she spell shielded my, my shadow slashes, so I thought my ult was going to pop. I didn't calculate that correctly. She outplayed me. That is unfortunate. Got ourselves a Black Cleaver now, though. And it looks like Lisa can pick up some kills with Nautilus down on his side. The problem, though, is the turret is here, but Sivir's spell shield is not going to be used to block the ultimate, so... Oh my god, the Nautilus was hitting the turret! I hate when that happens! That happens to me all the time when I'm trying to hit the champion, and they're like, No, I'm just going to run circles around the turret, you're never going to see me, you're never going to hit me! And yeah, well, you saw that worked out for Nautilus. Then again, I don't think he actually had the damage to take out uh, Vayne. Or, Vayne, sorry, Sivir, so it is what it is. But now we have three items. I'm thinking our next item here, guys, will probably be a lifesteal item of some sort as it's pretty good against their composition. Uh, Bloodthirster is something I'm considering. Death Stance is also something I'm, I'm considering. Normally, Death Stance is not that great, 
But then again, this game, it kind of feels good. And Blade Runner King actually got buffed. And a part of me kind of wants to go back to the old G ways, but they don't really have a tank. I mean, Renekton doesn't have a single HP item as Renekton, right? Doesn't that seem kind of odd? So, I don't know. Uh, by the way, that symbol that you see above them, that means that if you use your ultimate to kill that target, you will get more AD than you currently have. That is what that means. It took me a while to figure that out because I was thinking, wait, does that mean that person has the peak AD? No, it just simply means that if you kill that target with your ultimate, you'll get more AD than you currently have from the bonus. That's all it means. So it's kind of nice to know, because sometimes you'll see, like, literally everybody on their team having that symbol. Actually, that's, I don't think that's possible. I think four out of five, though, could. So that's kind of neat to keep in mind. And it looks like Nidalee's going to get caught out here by Nautilus. Nothing's going to mount from it, though. And Talon's on the side. I wonder if he's got his alt. And I'm going to miss everything. Nice! That's what you want. That's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when it comes to skill shot champions, I just don't read my opponents correctly happens sometimes, man. It's okay, though. Looks like Leeson's going to get the smite there on that. And where did Shaco go? Probably over to the wolf camp. That's where I would go. And actually, Talon's going in. What the heck? Where'd you go? Yeah, of course he went over here. Oh, he doesn't have his ultimate anymore. He's got no escapes now. See you later. That's mine. Yeah, Lisa knows it's mine. Don't even, don't even try and hit him, man. Just let me, let, let him die to my death mark. That's what we like. Okay, killing a few minions here. Looks like there's a bit of a flank from Lee Sin. We're gonna finish this turret off first. Okay, what's next? Sonic Wave coming in. Anything gonna come from that? He doesn't have kick, so probably not. And actually, Shaco's on us. Let's just <laughs> turn on him and kill him. See you later, Shaco. You deceive in, but we're gonna just destroy you if you do that. Because our team is with us, and of course, we're very, very strong on the Zed. And it looks like Renekton's looking for the fight, but he's not gonna find much. Is he's not very tanky. He's got full damage. You can't. Like, he doesn't have the ability to tank us for even a split second. I really want to try and get some damage on somebody here over the wall. There it is. <laughs> right as I say that, Nidalee walks up close enough and we get it. I love it. And now, Renekton, you're up next. Can we get the Renekton? Oh, I'm going too ham. I'm going far too ham. I thought I could get him with a Shadow Slash and an Auto Attack, but unfortunately I had no energy. So I got a little bit baited by my, by my own greed there, but that's okay. Getting ourselves the tower here and the inhibitor. Good stuff, team. Unfortunately, you are going to lose... Uh, Lee Sin, actually. And Shaco's probably going in. He's probably going for Vayne here. I'm just going to Shadow out, and he's actually going to get me. Damn. I really thought he was going to go for Vayne instead of going for me, and nice play by Vayne, condemning the talent into the no, the uh, dead turret there. Very nice. Unfortunately, he's still going to go out to Shaco, but you want... If he had to go out, he only went out with a bang, and that is a bang into the wall. <laughs> okay, uh, next item here, though. Yeah, I think Death Stance, in theory, makes the most sense for us. We need a sustain, but Bloodthirster... Bloodthirster is just so fun. Let's just do that instead. I mean, you just, you just, yeah, you gotta go with the OG Bloodthirst every once in a while, man. You really do. I mean, back in the day, I remember playing like uh, Talon and Zed and all these other champions when Bloodthirster would stack and gain like four or five of them. It was, it was fun. You'd get like 600 AD. It was, it was pretty great. It's not a very good strategy at all because it's not very gold efficient. But if you get fed enough in a really low elo game, it's a lot of fun back in the day, man. But yeah, it's a pretty good build for us, I think, this game. Uh, another couple of good items. I guess Ravenous Hydra would be really good for us, but I don't really want to worry about an extra active. And we also have really good wave clear already, as is. I just don't think Hydra is necessary for us. I'm not sure I have the shield from Bloodthirster. And Lee Sin is right. I should be taking blue buffs. I'll go ahead and do that as we speak. Or not as we speak, but I'll go ahead and get that started. And hop over this wall with that explosive, as it is so very fun. At least and lend us a hand as well. Thank you, sir. And nice kill going on to Shaco. Okay. And with that, should we just do Baron? I mean, they have their bottom and hip down, so we have pretty easy leverage to take that. And that, that wave's probably got supers in it too, right? Yeah, so we could very well do that. Do I want to kill this? Ooh, see, here's the thing. There's other people around. Yeah, you better hop the wall. You better. Let's just go for Baron, man. They have a big wave of supers to deal with. We can definitely do that. I mean, it's not a huge wave, but they're they're all occupied. Like all of them, all of them are there dealing with that shit. We can we can get this Baron for free. And I like that. And I'm using Ghost Blade at the wrong time. Old habits die hard, man. And actually, Shaco might be in the area. Actually, but he, but he can't be in the area. He's dead. So who wore the over the wall? Who was that? Like no one's close. Was it Nidalee? It must have been because everyone else is in their base. Okay. Yeah, I was convinced we just saw Nidalee actually, but I guess I guess not. Or maybe it was an old warden and just showed up because we had vision of it just now. Maybe I'm just being that dumb. Whew, speaking of being that dumb, almost walked into an Italy spear. <laughs> okay, 
some nice damage on Talon. Nice. Okay. Yeah, whenever you get the opportunity to get free damage and you got a blue buff on Zed, take it. Especially a sieging position like this. Unfortunately, you're using our shadow, but it's against the point in the game where the CD is pretty low. And man, he barely sidestepped that Nidalee Spear. It really didn't look like he did. And there's some nice damage going on to Nidalee. So, yeah, this cooldown's like 10 seconds. But the cooldown begins when you first place it. So, you have about 7 seconds of it actually appearing on cooldown. If that makes sense. It looks like a kill going on to Talon. Very nice. Renekton's on the run. Unfortunately, that minion's gonna die, otherwise I'd be going for the turret just now. And it looks like Renekton's going for the dive in. Let's go ahead here and just... Go to Nidalee, actually, because she's all the way in the back. She's gonna die. See you later, Nidalee. And can we go onto the Sivir next? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I randomly started spamming... Ooh, there we go. See you later, Shaco. I just randomly started spamming Tab. I was trying to spam Q in that fight. That was super awkward. I might have given some of my viewers a seizure or something like that, because Tab spammed like two or three times as I'm trying to kill Nidalee. Oh man, what a crazy game. See you later, Sivir. You're down for the count. And let's go ahead and kill off a few last minions and end the game with the Nexus. Okay, hopefully you guys liked the game here today. If you did, make sure to drop that like rating as it helps with the channel so, so very much. I would really appreciate it. For those of you who want to enter in the giveaway, one quick review. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below what you think my favorite movie is of all time. If you get the answer right and you do the other things, you'll be entered in a chance to win a North American code. And I remember I forgot. I forgot to mention what the other servers do. Uh, I'll put it in a comment down below. If you're wondering how to be in a po possible giveaway in the future and you're not playing in North America, look in the comments because I will comment down below how that works. And as far as the Instagram page, guys, or Instagram page, guys, Instagram page goes, guys, please do check it out. I would really appreciate you guys giving it a look as I put a lot of work into what I've created and I would really appreciate you guys giving it a look as I think you might be pleasantly surprised. And that's all here, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.